Hey Libra loves, it's Gwen, and this is going to be a reading about major life lessons. Yes, so I've just got the major arcana for my muse tarot here, and I want to see what the Libra Collective is going through as far as life lessons, these major events in our life, on our spiritual path. Um, when Spirit has me separate decks, you could also be experiencing a separation, a separation from old values, views, separation from a job, family. Okay, so what, in the pre-shuffle, Libra, what wanted to come out was um, devil energy, okay, and that it could be talking about like so on some of our own toxic ways, ego, materialism, codependency, addiction, that sort of thing. Um, so we'll see what comes out. This is a general reading. I'll take what resonates, leave the rest. I also have another deck, uh, my literary, which is Oracle which I, again, separated and just took out the signs and symbols for you today instead of all of the authors and all the fluff and stuff. Fluff and stuff. What do we got to tell Libra? What major life lessons? What's going on in Libra's life? Okay, look at this. Look at this. Okay, so I do have the sun in reverse. That tells me that you've been going through, Libra, a period of your life where you may have been feeling loss, a loss of some sort, lack um, in some sort of way, it could even be financially when the sun is reversed, a lack of hope or faith in a situation, um, could even feel disillusionment, um, like a mental depression when the sun is reversed. Uh, repetitive cycles and not new beginnings and feeling unwell even possibly in your own skin okay but right next to this I have the full energy so it is absolutely about taking a fresh perspective and starting anew again the fool leaps into the unknown okay trusting in their intuitive divine path and the Sun and the light is so bright here it's a, like a childlike energy Okay, letting go of what what was lost in the past, stepping forward, right? Like this fool travels with no baggage. Libra, see that? The fool got up here by going through some sort of an awakening here, through the darkness, up this ladder to a higher perspective here. Starting over, rebirth, ascension, skipping to this new beginning, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay? Yeah, the world. Here it is. The ending is the beginning. A cycle of life ending and a new one beginning. Even the fool travels, right? Wanting to travel, traveling the world. Okay, tell me more about this with the sign symbols. For Libra Collective today, Libra Collective. Boar energy. Ooh, and that fell into the past. Let's see what else is coming out. That's some aggressive energy. That's some aggressive energy. Yeah, that's ferocious, the boar. The wild boar. Shuffling my cards upside down. Okay. Taking a fresh perspective there. Doing something different. The boar is about a wild aggressive sexuality as well <laughs> cannot tame a wild boar being fiercely protective of home as well boar energy what else ghost ghost on the bottom so this means so many things but it's it maybe you're feeling invisible in your own life ghost um so maybe somebody ghosted you but also it's like saying like i said here letting go and setting out on a new adventure and letting go of the loss of the past saying goodbye to versions of you of the past no longer being haunted in, in a way the ghost the braid the eye and the knife yes there's, I think there is some underlying pent-up sexuality that has become a sort of aggressive 
with the boar coming out here. So some sort of aggressive energy um, around you. And the knife is here saying to cut out. The knife is always symbolic of cutting ties or cut out or um, conflict in, in our life, okay? Um, and there's some sort of conflict, Libra, about a self-identity. You know, it could be even arguments. Spirit saying, cut that out. See here, like what the, the eye is here is about trusting your intuition, okay? Your intuitive path. The fool does, okay? The eye. Seeing something very clearly here. Braid is about, this is who I am. Braid is also about becoming a warrior. Braid, re, like recreating a new life, a new self-identity here, okay? And future advice from this deck as well for those Libras who are resonating with this. The fool is about being brave. The fool's in the upright. These are positive traits of the fool. Okay? Very courageous. Very brave. Very much stepping outside of the box, doing something completely different and doing it joyfully sauntering, skipping their, like, fancy free, like, no baggage. I keep saying that. No baggage. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's so bright it blinds me. Blinded by the light. Whoa. This fan out of cards from the past here and something in, right here on the table. The tree. What, what are your roots? This is about wisdom and strength. Okay? Tree energy. cycles of life as well who are your roots what are your roots okay let the dead leaves fall are you hanging on to any these are them all the messages are you hanging on to dead branches your roots will always remain tree energy um we are all connected as well tree energy skull okay wildflowers like the death Rebirth that I've been talking about and the wildflower is like romance, darling, new beginnings, wild maiden-like energy here, wildflowers, passionate new beginnings, wildflowers, okay, and it could be a flashback from the past because it came out here, you thought something was over, but here it is, it's a brand new beginning, okay, there's something magical in the air, something that has come to the light, the pond is like, Something's lurking in the dark here, but the toad tells me there's something transforming, okay? And it's magical, the toad, okay? It may look a little, I don't know, like weird on the surface because of the toad's skin there, but something, it, the toad is the witch is familiar. Toad is magical medicine as well for a shaman. So, yeah. Adapt, adaptation to a new way of being, okay? The tadpole was, starts in the water and then lives on the land, okay? Toad also symbols the sign of a crossroads in your life, okay? Could have been a period of darkness, the dark pond, dark emotions here, okay? So trust in this new beginning and letting go of the old and that magic is afoot and that cat energy, be independent. Step outside of the box. Cat energy. Okay. I love you so much. If you enjoyed this reading today, I gladly appreciate your tips and donations. Um, let me know if it resonated. A comment helps. Thank you for hearting it, liking it. Reach out to me if you want your own personal private reading. Okay. I love you, Libras. Take good care of you. Bye.